Good evening. You're going to see more of those flashing blue and red lights on King Street as the uh, pilot continues, the pilot project, the soft launch that uh, started yesterday. And uh, the police have said for the first week they're going to people a break as they try to explain the rules, the changes that are happening here on King Street. But already, as we're seeing with the streetcars getting essentially the right of way, there are plenty of winners with what's going on. I'm actually really excited. <laughs> Why? What, what do you like about the idea? Um, I like that I'm not going to be on the streetcar for like an hour after work. I don't live very far, just past Bathurst, and then sometimes it literally takes me 45 minutes on the streetcar. It was taking me about 20 minutes on the way in in the morning, and it's taking me about 15 now, and I haven't tried it on the way home yet, but the street looks a lot clearer down in Spadina than it usually does. No doubt transit riders happy about the pilot project that gives streetcars a virtual clear run between Bathurst and Jarvis. There's no parking on that stretch, and vehicles must turn off every few streets, although cabs will get a break at certain hours of the evening. All those changes are drawing more than transit riders. Cyclists are coming out now. Do you feel safer, obviously? I do, in fact, yes. Even at night time, even though, okay, time difference now, it gets darker earlier, but regardless. It's an inconvenience, all this. For others, it's a headache. Uh, it's not that bad. Like, I just worked on the street. I just got to go, go around on front. I drop off, but right out where I'm going. So you don't like it, though? Yeah, I don't like it. Right turns only. Do not go straight through. Since it literally is in the early days, police are giving scoff laws a break, choosing patience over points. The first words out of everybody's mouth is, I didn't know. Well, the reality is uh, some people did say that they'd seen the signs, but didn't really know what they meant or didn't really want to abide by them because they didn't think they were enforced yet. It is early, and so we, we are cautious uh, in terms of our optimism because we know that tomorrow's another day and uh, more people will be at work tomorrow than there are today because it was a bit of a bank holiday for, uh, for some employees uh, because of Remembrance Day. Brad Ross from the TTC says early indications give him reason for optimism. Even with drivers either mistakenly or deliberately disobeying signs, he says they have been making progress. And if changes are needed, changes will be made. Well, there's constant monitoring already. We will be putting data uh, on our website, the city's uh, website, about you know travel times and, and uh, reliability metrics. All right, so drivers have a week to develop good habits, like not running through the signs that say turn one way or the other, and then uh, police will start enforcing it on a regular basis. Now, to give you some numbers, just uh, if you're curious about it, about 65,000 people pack streetcars on King every day compared to 20,000 people in vehicles, a three-to-one ratio.